Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe, and I'm back today with the first impression. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. If you like first impressions, please like, comment, subscribe below, ring the bell, and let's get into a palette I'm very excited about. This is from Alien Cosmetics, and this is called the Hauntingly Glamorous Palette. It's a new release, and that's the front. And of course, your ingredients are on the back. And the palette has the same lovely artwork and the same ingredients. So let's get into looking at these colors. There are three. Let me make sure of that. Yeah, three shimmers and nine mattes. And of course, I haven't planned on what I'm going to do today, so we're just going to wing it. Everything that I already have on my face will be linked down below in the description box. Let's just get us a fluffy brush. This is just a Morphe M433. And I think I'm going to go into this very light purple here called Unpleasant Dreams. I'm going to put that in the crease. I'm going to, of course, tap out any creases that I got. I just used the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer today. I usually do use a... I've been using the concealer for quite a few videos, but I do like eye primers better normally. But I want this to blend really well. And just for me and my eyes, it seems that it works. It seems like the color is more opaque if I use a eye primer and it seems to blend better if I use a concealer. I don't know if it's just me, but that's just the way it seems to be for my face. So how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. All these storms and everything. I know a lot of my subscribers do have pain. I hope it's not affecting them too bad. That's a pretty color. I hope it shows up because it is on the lighter side, but it's beautiful. Um, I just did an Alien Cosmetics video. I had never tried them. I've got to pluck my eyebrows, y'all. I plucked them yesterday, but, you know, 100 grow overnight. But anyways, just tried Alien Cosmetics and was very impressed. I had this palette on the way for Halloween. And I thought, well, let's get into it, you know? And I'm just going to do a regular cut crease, I think, or maybe a faux cut crease. I don't know if I'll actually cut it with, I'm going to take this and go up under the eye. Very pretty. We'll see. I might cut it with concealer. I might not. It just depends on how the colors go for me. This is a very pretty shade. But the last palette I got from Alien Cosmetics, I think it's just called The Bunnies or Bunnies. But it's really nice. I really enjoyed it. And I saw the color scheme. I don't have a whole lot of color schemes that I don't already have in my collection. But this one was really, I'm going to get these creases out. This was a really unique color scheme to my collection, which doesn't happen often. So I was quite pleased. But I understand, you know. A lot of people put out makeup nowadays and it is hard to come up with a unique color scheme but I really enjoyed 
this color scheme. And it's, it's like Halloween in a different way. It's not just purple and orange and green. There's not even an orange in the palette. But I guess in a way it seems more witchy to me, which I really like. It gives me a witchy color vibe. I already put the Lethal Cosmetics Playback color in my water on. That color is really pretty. Now, Ben. Sending messages on Instagram from people I haven't seen in a while that were either subscribers or people that I've seen in other live chats because um, I do, when somebody goes MIA, I do worry about their health. So if you got a message from me, that's probably why. I want to make sure everybody's okay, especially with all the craziness that is going on. We'll take another clean M433. It don't look clean, but it is. It's just stained. And I am going to go into this maroon shade Drop Dead Gorgeous right here. And I'm kind of going to do the same thing, just lower. And tap that in the outer V. It does pick up quite a good bit. And there's not a whole lot of kick up. There is some, but it's not bad at all. Some of these brushes are getting frayed. I'm going to have to get rid of. But I got to go through my brushes. I got way too many. Oh, that's beautiful with that color. I love that. And some of y'all know that Kit Kat, my 10 year old half zombies, half something. <laughs> we always say half jackrabbit because his feet are so big like a jackrabbit's. But he was very, very sick. He was doing much better. He was not wanting to eat a whole lot today. But that's. <sighs> He's finicky anyway. It's last time he didn't eat for days, so I'm trying not to get myself worried. I'm just taking that in about a third of the way. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. He's a very sweet baby, but he does have brain damage since he was taken away from his mother. He didn't get his mother's milk like he should have. We did our, the best we could to supplement everything, but kittens really need the first round of mother's milk to get all the nutrients and antibodies and everything. It actually, can mean life or death for a lot of them. It's really pretty. So, he does have some brain damage since he didn't get nourishment from the get-go. We was able to, I mean, the vet had said, of course, that he wouldn't make it, which is what the vet should have said to prepare us, because it, it really was hard to get him back to where we thought he was in good condition. But again, he is brain damaged, but he has a happy life. He plays, he romps, he purrs. But he don't always make a lot of sense in the decisions he makes. And sometimes that has to do with food. Gosh, I just kind of want to put a shimmer in this. Because I really just like the way it's already turned out. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Let's pick a shimmer to put in there. Ooh, hmm. 
think I'm going to do this pinky gold shift, which is called Elvira, right here. Let's see if I can get it to look pink. There it goes. And I'm just going to use my finger, like I usually do. Oh, that's pretty. Gosh, that's pretty. And that's not falling out all over my face either, which is amazing. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I really, really like this palette too. I know I've only used three shades, but there's a, I see two speckles of fallout. So let me get that off. Yeah, it wiped right off, so that's no big deal. Let me take a final look, final assessment, and see if this is as far as I want to go. I think so. It's so pretty being just these three colors. So, let's get some mascara. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara. I've got the travel size, but I really like this mascara. If I didn't have so many mascaras, I would end up buying this one. I like it a lot. But I have a ton of mascaras right now, so I don't want to be buying and wasting. I try to not have a huge supply of mascara because they do dry out. Oh my goodness, that got everywhere. That's what nails are for. Oh, I hid you. I was just trying to get that little black mark off. Well, me and this mirror is going to fight. Oh, I see what's happening. There's a hair on it. That's why I'm getting black marks. I was like, this mascara's never done that before. There we go. And it was one of my hairs this time, not a cat hair. Usually it's a cat hair. Ooh, I poked myself in the eye. I mean, this mascara is just not working out. Get that little bit of mascara that I got on the bottom side of my eye. Make sure there's none left on my fingers because if I do, then I'll get it everywhere. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get this little mascara brush where to go. Or a lash brush, but it's not a mascara brush. That little hair did drag a whole bunch of mascara, but all right, I may have to cover that up with a little more shadow. Let's see. Oops. Get the shadow brush and I think that's as good as that bad spot's gonna get. But that's okay. I wear glasses anyway. I'm gonna get a q tip in a little bit. But I really like the palette. I like the Alien Cosmetics formula. Um I don't think they sold they didn't sell out as or was a couple of days ago when I was looking. I don't know if they've sold out now, but it's aliencosmetics.com. You can go to their Instagram, which is a.l.i.e.n.c.o.h. 
S dot, M dot, E dot, T dot, I dot, C dot, S dot. Ooh, Alien Cosmetics. But I really enjoy it. And if you pick up the palette, let me know down below. If you didn't like the palette, let me know down below. I love you guys. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're making good decisions. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.